Coronavirus Everything You Need to Know So Far Coronavirus is not a new virus. It has been around for at least two decades and is transmitted from animals to humans and then from humans to humans. It is said to have originated from eating cats, bats, and camels, depending on the strain. 2019 GAV is a supposedly new strain of the coronavirus that surfaced in mid-December 2019 from a seafood market in China. Now my thoughts. In 2004, the CDC filed a patent on a newly isolated coronavirus known as SARS. It expired on January 24, 2020 pure coincidence given the timing of this media outbreak I'm sure. In 2015, the Per Bright Institute filed a patent for a live attenuated coronavirus to be used in the production of vaccines. The Per Bright Institute is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and recently received $5.5 million to do what they do. They were coincidentally chosen to create the vaccine behind this current outbreak. They will be partnering with Inovio Pharmaceuticals, Inc., funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, to create said vaccine. This company brought you the Zika Quaxin in a record-breaking seven months, run just run. Inovio Pharmaceuticals will be partnering with Wista, funded by Bill and Melinda Gates. Gene 1, funded by Bill and Melinda Gates and sponsored by the US FDA, and Twist Biosciences, funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. If the Wista Institute sounds familiar, it should. This is the company that produced the WI38 cell line derived from the too many to count aborted fetuses in the vaccines injected into your children. October 18, 2019 Event 201 is a high-level pandemic exercise hosted by the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security in partnership with the World Economic Forum and none other than the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. This is extremely fascinating because this pandemic simulation exercise of coronavirus took place about six weeks before the first illness from the coronavirus was actually reported in Wuhan, China. That is one hell of a coincidence if you believe in that sort of thing. Another fascinating connection, is the fact that not only did the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation participate in and help set up the pandemic simulation of a coronavirus outbreak, but they just so happen to fund the group who owns the patent to the deadly coronavirus and are already working on a vaccine to solve the current crisis. Again, an incredible coincidence. All this in the perfect timing of Netflix's new pandemic documentary, how convenient, just another coincidence. And lastly, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus Director General for the World Health Organization, who, was a top executive and central committee member of the Tigray People Liberation Front TPLF, which is a political party in Tigray, Ethiopia and is a global blacklisted terrorist organization. Now this is the guy looking after the world's health, hmm, scary stuff. Too many coincidences for my liking. Sources below, can be googled. First. Did Bill Gates and World Economic Forum predict coronavirus outbreak? Will there be an internet blackout to control information? Second. The Event 201 Scenario. Third. Netflix viewers freaked out as pandemic documentary happens to drop amid coronavirus outbreak. Fourth. Microsoft is buying 10 million molecules of custom DNA from a San Francisco startup. Fifth. Per Bright bags $5.5 million from Gates Foundation to establish Livestock Antibody Hub. Sixth. Inovio selected by CEPI to develop vaccine against new coronavirus. Seventh. Innovative technology in biomedicine acknowledged by U.S. government. Eighth. The Per Bright Institute coronavirus patent. Ninth. U.S. 7220852B1 United States Patent 10. EP3172319B1 European Patent Office 11. Lab-made coronavirus triggers debate 12. Biowarfare experts question why Canada was sending lethal viruses to China 13. Chinese researcher escorted from infectious disease lab amid RCMP investigation 
14th. China built a lab to study SARS and Ebola in Wuhan and U.S. biosafety experts warned in 2017 that a virus could escape the facility that's become key in fighting the outbreak. 15th. Wuhan, China, is scrambling to build a hospital in just six days to treat coronavirus patients as its health system gets overwhelmed. 16th. Coronavirus vaccine research to include team from Queensland. 17th. Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus Director General for the World Health Organization, who, was a top executive and central committee member of the Tigray People Liberation Front TPLF. A brutal and corrupt ethno-fascist political group mainly responsible for gross human rights violations and crimes against humanity in Ethiopia. An 18th. Tigray People's Liberation Front TPLF, listed as a perpetrator in the Global Terrorism Database. Sent in by a reader. Let us know your thoughts below in the comments, thank you.